Southern Oregon has seen a number of drivers stranded on backcountry roads after following directions from their GPS devices. Those directions and bad weather conditions often add up to dangerous situations. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, but as GPS users are learning, it's not always the safest. We just heard the story about the person getting lost with a GPS, so maybe I don't want to use them anymore. <laughs> On Christmas Day, John and Starry Rhodes were driving from Oregon to Reno, Nevada, when their GPS device told them to take a remote service road not meant for winter travel. They got trapped in heavy snow. Then one went to emergency. Uh, we have an emergency. We're lost on a county road in the snow. They were stranded for three days before being rescued and said they were extremely lucky. Neither one of us were really hungry and it, we had to force each other to eat. Southern Oregon knows all about the dangers of being sent down remote roads, often because of the directions given by GPS. Right now I'm in Merlin, and let's say I want to find a quick route to the coast. I'll punch in directions to Gold Beach on the GPS and find out where it takes us. The route seemed fine at first, until... Turn left. It told me to take a road called BLM 34836, also known as Bear Camp Road, a winding one-lane road that is virtually impassable in the winter. It's the same area where James Kim died in 2006 after his family became stranded in deep snow. Southern Oregon travelers say it comes down to common sense rather than blindly following directions. Stay on the major major roads. I mean, if it's going to take you up in some hill somewhere, I, I probably wouldn't trust it. We we travel all over the country in our motorhome, so we've never had a problem. Sometimes it gives us, maybe the beep is a little sooner than it should be, but we look at the road signs, so we trust our judgment too. Because when faced with a choice between electronic directions and a sign saying the road is dangerous, travelers say they'll believe the sign. Many travelers told me they like to use both GPS and paper maps in order to make sure that their route is accurate. Live in Medford, Stephen Sandberg, Newswatch 12.